So there you go. Uninterrupted swap of them, just changing the, the solenoids. You guys got an uncut version of that. There is no tune required. You literally just swap everything around. But you did notice that on the aftermarket solenoid, that once the car got up to temperature, the, the blow-off valve stayed open. And that's what the factory EC is telling it to do. However, the stock solenoid, once they start getting old, once they start getting tired, you can't do that with them anymore because the the seals on the inside have so much leak down that they can't provide enough uh, reference to the actual blow-off valve to make it respond quick uh, or in sometimes at all the way it's supposed to. Um, the other thing is you notice that when I let off the throttle the factory solenoid allows it to uh, it, it takes forever basically for the blow-off valve to close again whereas on my solenoid that's not the case it's crisp it's clear it's open it's shut and that is the purpose of the Seco blow-off valve solenoid is to make your blow-off valve uh, function the way the factory computer as well as the Haltech uh, intends it to function and to maintain all of your ECU features while also giving this, the blow-off valve the flow it needs to operate correctly regardless of what blow-off valve you have. Now this is the Synapse DV. It is the second fastest uh, blow-off valve on the market right now. And even though it is a ridiculously fast blow-off valve, it's still limited by the factory solenoid. Whereas my solenoid, that problem's gone. You are now at the at the mercy of the valve, not the mercy of the solenoid. So, uh, thanks for watching this tutorial, and thanks for watching. You know, sticking around to the end to see the how this the valve is supposed to function, and uh, we'll see you guys at uh, the next product.